Well, hi there. I'm Will, and I'm going to introduce you to some pretty cool characters. Australia's iconic champions, delivering nourishment to the masses. Their valiant deeds are carried out in broad daylight. Their reach is enormous, and their skills are revered. They are the legends of your lunchbox. And no, I'm not talking about your mum or dad or brother, or whoever made your role today. I'm talking about the people behind your lunch. The folks who worked hard to get through to your kitchen. Let's think about it. If you have a ham and salad roll, how do those ingredients make their way to you? That butter, lettuce, tomato, ham, and your nice fresh bread roll all come from somewhere. And there are plenty of some bodies working hard to make it happen. So who is actually involved? Well, there are lots of people. Let's start with the researchers. This group includes food scientists, food technologists and chemists. Hold up there. Might sound a bit technical, but these are some really cool jobs. When you walk into a supermarket and look around, almost every food related product you see is something to researchers. They develop new foods, consider how foods look and taste and advise on nutrition, shelf life and packaging. Why did the tomato turn red? because it saw the salad dressing. No, actually, it turned red because researchers have developed tomato varieties that are bigger, brighter and juicier. Thanks guys, high five. You might have heard of celebrity chef Heston Blumenthal. He's into using research to invent new foods and is the dude behind gems like bacon and egg ice cream and snail porridge. I wonder if he could work on a baked potato flavored milk for me. What new food do you think would be a bestseller? Please don't say you'd like a fish smoothie or a mushroom custard. Okay, back to our lunchbox legends. The next group is the people who make and grow the food. They are the horticulturalists, the market gardeners and the farmers. A horticulturalist is someone who specializes in plant cultivation. They grow intensively produced plants and conduct research to learn how to produce higher crop yields. Market gardening is both a very old and very new way to farm. The market gardener uses a small parcel of land or even greenhouses to grow a range of produce from flowers to fruit, vegetables and herbs. The harvest is sold locally at markets or restaurants or even directly from the farm gate. Part of the appeal is that the produce is usually organic and has a low carbon footprint. The ham. It's the hero of the ham and salad roll, right? So, the reality is that your ham comes from a pig that was raised in a piggery. Pig farmers know their pigs are their living, so looking after their welfare is not only the right thing to do, it makes good business sense. A healthy pig makes great ham, sausages, and even bacon and egg ice cream. An unhealthy pig might need ointment, lol. Next is the butcher or artisan butcher who turns the pig into ham. Artisan butchers specialize in sourcing only the highest quality meat. Butchers have specialist technical skills, working with knives, saws, mincers, smokers, and computers. And they also need business and people skills to work with suppliers and customers. The final lunchbox legends we're going to consider today are the transport professionals who carefully take our food to local stores. In the case of stuff that needs refrigeration, they have to do this whilst maintaining what's called the cold chain to make sure food always stays at a safe temperature. So next time you open your lunchbox, Think about the legends who made it possible. Hey, maybe one day you might even want to be a food technologist, a market gardener or a butcher yourself. Then you can be a legend in your own lunchbox. See you later when your carrots are straighter.